Everybody wants to take better pictures of their cat. Today I'm going to share with you my top five tips on how to improve your cat photography skills using any level of camera. For any beginners out there, shutter speed is essentially how quick your camera takes the photo. When you're shooting anything with a lot of movement, whether it be sports or animals, you want to make sure and increase that shutter speed to be a little bit faster so your photos don't come out blurry. I tend to try and shoot everything at 1 over 1000 if I can, or if the light is low, I'll go as far down as 1 over 500. This just ensures that you get that complete time stop, nice, crisp, clean image. I know what a few of you are thinking, you know, I shoot cat pictures with my cell phone. I can't control my shutter speed. There are a ton of manual camera apps out there. I did a quick search. And there are a number of free options in the app store. So download one of those manual camera apps and get the shooting. To do this though, you're gonna need a little bit more light, which leads me directly into tip number two. You know, I'm shooting this right now with just my one big window in the apartment. Uh, for anyone that follows Little Wolfie's Instagram, you know, um, you'll see a lot of photos right in this windowsill here. That's where the light is best in my apartment, so that's where I try and direct him to take most of the photos. It's really gonna give it a more professional look, and it's really going to allow you to shoot that higher shutter speed and just get cleaner, nicer looking images of your cat. Even most smartphones nowadays will have two different lens options. One that's a little bit bigger and wider, and one that's a little bit zoomed in and closer up. You wanna use that one that's a little bit more zoomed in. That portrait length or that longer lens is going to have your cat kind of fill up the shot a little bit more and make him seem a little bit larger than life, more like a person. You know, that, that's what a lot of this is all about, you know, shooting your cat like he's a person. It's going to allow you as well to get closer up photos photos of your cat without being too physically close to them. You know, I notice if I get really close, Wolfie will end up moving or readjusting. So if I'm further away, I can get the shot like I'm not there. You know, cats are a lot shorter than humans, obviously. You know, a lot of the photos that you see out there are from human level, you know, you're, you're looking down, you're taking a picture of your cat. That just leads to kind of a crappy, boring image. You wanna bring yourself and your cat down to cat level. You know, shoot them at the same level that you would a person. It's gonna be a little bit more work for you, but I promise it's worth it. It makes the photos that much nicer. Follow your cat around when they're playing and moving and running and, and doing some sort of action. You know, you have that higher shutter speed now, so you're able to capture it without the cat being blurry. Uh, it's just gonna make your photos a lot more unique. Uh, most of the favorite photos I have that I've taken of Wolfie have also been through things. You know, we have his little cat tunnel that we keep out. And I've taken a few photos where I put my camera down into the cat tunnel. It just makes for a really unique shot. It kind of frames frames him through the actual physical tunnel. You're probably not gonna be perfect at it at first, but the more you practice, the easier this is gonna get. That really is gonna elevate and add a, uh, a really professional looking level to your photos without having to buy any new gear or anything else. All right, everybody, so that is gonna be it for the tips. I've been wanting to show off little Wolfie here on my YouTube channel for so long, but just couldn't figure out a way to do so. Uh, he's feeling a little rambunctious right now. Been running around taking all these pictures. He's all uh, all wigged out. But, uh, but make sure if you enjoyed this, uh, leave the video a like. It really helps me out a lot. I gotta put him down. But anyway, subscribe if you're not already. I do a ton of different content on here. And I post videos every Monday and Friday and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to see any pictures. If you guys utilize these tips, come up with anything interesting, uh, I'd love for you to share down below. Uh, so make sure to do that. But until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.